Hi kids, welcome to my channel Simplified Learning with Dimple Malik. We are in continuation to class 7 chapter 1 integers and today we are going to do the topic that is how does closure property act in integers. We have already done various properties in class 6 and there is already a video on my channel for the same. Uh, I'll put a link if you have any doubts for normal numbers like for whole numbers. But today we are going to do those same properties with integers. So let's see. The closure property explains that if I have two numbers and I add them and whatever the answer I'm getting should also be an integer. So let's check for addition. If I have to add two integers, what is my answer going to be? 4 plus 9 is a 13 minus 6 plus 3 gives me an answer minus 3 or if I have minus 20 plus minus 11 this gives me a answer minus 31 so I see my answer in all the three cases all the three cases the answer that I get is an integer 13 is an integer minus 3 is an integer and minus 31 is also an integer therefore closure property stands true for addition now let's move to multiplication for multiplication what it should be that a into b whatever i get my answer c is also an integer all right so let's check let's take three to four sums so four into nine gives me an answer 36 minus 6 into 3 gives me an answer minus 18 and minus 20 into minus 11 gives me an answer 220 again if I see my answer that is my C for all three again these are integers 36 18 minus 18 and 220 all of them are integers so when all of them are integers that means my closure property stands true for multiplication as well now let's check for subtraction so for subtraction let's see it quickly because we already know what is the closure property so 4 minus 9 gives me a minus 5 minus 12 minus 15 gives me a minus 27 and minus 6 minus 3 gives me a minus 9 again minus 5 minus 27 and minus 9 all are integers and so the property stands true in subtraction also last is division let's check that out this is a divided by b the answer i get c should be an integer let's check if it is true in the case of division 6 divided by 2 gives me an answer 3 minus 7 divided by 3 gives me an answer minus 7 by 3 2 divided by minus 5 gives me an answer minus 2 by 5 now 6 divided by 2 gives me an answer 3 3 is an integer but when I see minus 7 by 3 or minus 2 by 5, both these numbers are not integers. They are represented in the form of P by Q. Now, if they would have been positive, they were fractions. Since they are not positive, they are negative. These are special type of numbers. We call them rational numbers. So, they are not integers. Since this is not true always therefore closure property may stand true or may not stand true in the case of division okay kids this is it for this video next video will be uploaded soon with a different property if you like my content don't forget to like the video share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe it right away till then bye bye